I was struggling to solve since 2013, and that question was, find all positive integers for x and y to the equation x to the power of y equals y to the power of x. Now, at first glance, you don't exactly know what to do, but this question is only difficult if you can't figure it out. But luckily for me, I finally came up with a solution to the problem that I think is feasible. So let me share with you how to solve this problem. So first of all, this is actually a very good question. x to the y equals y to the x. And it's not easy to solve in its original form, so what we're going to do is manipulate it. So we take the natural logarithm of both sides, so ln x to the y equals ln y to the x. Okay, now what we do afterwards, we have y ln x is equal to x ln y. And we can divide both sides by x, y, since x and y clearly can't be zero. And we're left with ln x over x is equal to ln y over y. And if you notice, they look very similar, these two sides of the equation. So next thing we should do is consider the function, consider, consider the function f of t equals ln t over t. Consider this function. And let's do some calculus on it to see when this function increases and decreases. So function f of t over t. So basically, um, the f prime t is equal to, when you do it, you'll see it's 1 minus ln t divided by t squared. And f prime t, um, you know, if when if uh, 1 minus ln t is 0, if uh, the first derivative is 0, then t equals e. And here's the graph of uh, what ln t over t looks like. I mean, I'm just going to do a rough sketch. This uh, ignore the scaling and everything. So f and this is t. So you have 0 right here. And it looks something like this if you were to um, graph this out. And the e is somewhere around here. Don't worry so much about the value. And yeah, so basically, f prime, this implies that f of t is increasing from 0 to e and decreasing from e to infinity. Okay, so that, that part is taken care of. Now, I also want to show you, um, this is going to be important later, so like what happens as the function goes to infinity. Lim t goes to infinity, um, ln t over t. This is infinity over infinity, so we can use L'Hopital's rule. So that's lim t goes to infinity, 1 over t, which is just 0. And it's 0 on the positive side, meaning it gets really, really, really close to 0, but it never actually touches 0. This is going to be important later on. Um, yeah, so now we know that. Let's just try plugging in some values of f of t to see what f of t equals. So f of 1 is equal to ln 1 over 1, which is equal to 0. f of 2 is equal to ln 2 over 2, 
And if you were to plug this in a calculator, this would be approximately 0 0.35. f of 3 is equal to ln 3 over 3. And it's approximately 0 0.37, which is the peak value, the max value f can be. Now, f of 4 is equal to ln 4 over 4, but ln 4 is 2 squared, so that's ln 2 squared, which is 2 ln 2 over 4, which is just ln 2 over 2. So f of 2 and f of 4 are the same. For t greater than or equal to 5, we have 0 is equal to f of 1, which is less than f of t, which is less than f of 2 equals f of 4. Because when, like, t, when um, t is equal to 5 and onwards, it's never exactly less than 0, but it never reaches f of 2 or f of 4. Re remember, we're considering only positive integers. So this means this means to our original equation, this means if x can't equal y, the only other possible solution is x equals 2 or y equals 4, or x equals 4 and y equals 2. Therefore, the only solutions to the only solutions to x y equals y x are x equals y x equals two and y equals four and x equals four and y equals two.